Here are the cards I keep in my travel wallet. So this would be like for any time I would need to use my passport to travel, so basically international trips. I don't carry this wallet instead of my regular wallet, I carry this wallet in addition to the wallet I'm already bringing. First off, the wallet I keep my cards in is the Nomad Passport Wallet. So far I've liked it, it's made out of horse themed leather, supposedly it's supposed to wear down in a unique and durable way. I haven't had this wallet for too long so we'll see about that. It came with this cover and I mostly use it for dust protection when I'm not using it. Inside this pocket is another tiny pocket that holds a tile device. So in case I ever lose it, I can use the tile app to find the wallet using tiles tracking services. And of course, here's the passport area. And the passport attaches using the last page of your passport. You just sort of clip it onto there like so. It's pretty secure. There are pockets on the other side too. You can put your boarding pass in here or cash. I usually keep my global entry card just in case for whatever reason I need it. I don't think I'll ever need to use it or anything, but just in case. If you wanted to put things on this side too, even though it holds a little tile device, you can still fit stuff in here. So in total, this wallet carries 5 cards. All right here. First card I have in this wallet is the American Express Platinum card. I usually never physically carry this card unless there's a cool offer I want to use. Because everything this card is good for, I either pre-buy it online or just load it into an app. Like the Uber app to get the $15 credit. The only real useful category on the Platinum card is 5 times points back per dollar spent on flights. But again, I don't need to keep this card on me to obtain that benefit. The only reason I would physically hold onto this card is for two reasons. To make sure I can get into a Delta or Centurion lounge in case the online options fail me, and for the concierge emergency services or insurances in case something goes wrong, and I have the physical numbers to look at, and know which number to call. Basically, if everything's gone to sh, I'll have the Amex Plat to bail me out. I would have said three reasons because the Amex Platinum doesn't have any foreign transaction fees, but I've heard the problem with American Express is many countries just plain out don't take American Express. This is just what I've heard because I haven't yet traveled internationally with Amex, so personally, I don't really know. Then the next card I have I usually keep in my traditional wallet is the Chase Sapphire Reserve. This one is actually physically really useful. It's a Visa. So many places do take Visa compared to American Express. And like the American Express Platinum, there are no foreign transaction fees. It also has similar insurances like the American Express Platinum, so that's pretty nice. But unlike the American Express Platinum, this card has some actual practical uses. I use this card for any type of food spend I do, along with any type of travel spend, which would include taxis or other hailing services that are available buses and subway fares and hotel costs including any services you receive at the hotel because in my experience they categorize as travel because the hotel charges the card for the services done at the hotel and i use this card to do it because travel and dining earns me three points per dollar spent which is most likely going to be the majority of spend during an international trip and then the next card i have is the chase sapphire reserves priority pass with restaurants not my amex platinum's priority pass because just in case an airport doesn't have a delta centurion or priority pass lounge but has a priority pass restaurant, I know it's a slim chance, but it's possible. I have it. I know because of the shutdown, basically every place now takes the digital version of priority pass, but I want to keep this card physically on me just in case. The next card I keep in here is the Delta Gold card. Since having the American Express Platinum, where you can get into Delta lounges for free, but only if you're flying with Delta, I've just naturally gotten used to flying Delta most, if not all the time. And Delta so far has been pretty good to me. Haven't been dragged out yet, but the reason I keep this card on me is because of the 20% statement credit back when I buy stuff on a Delta flight, like food, drinks, and headphones. And I don't need to physically carry this card on me for these benefits, but I also use the free checked bag benefit on Delta flights that comes with the card when I want to take items that I can get past baggage, but not TSA. And I will always be at the minimum boarded right after Comfort Plus on Delta flights. These benefits also transfer to everyone if you book all your tickets together with someone who has this card. So each person will get a free checked bag and you'll all be boarded early at the same time. So that's pretty awesome. The last card card I keep in this wallet which might be controversial, but I keep the Apple card on me. Because for international trips, I really don't want to deal with scammers. I don't want to deal with AMX or Chase sending me a new card and everything. So for the times if I go to a really sketchy area, I'll just eat the opportunity cost and use the Apple card. There are no foreign transaction fees or anything. To me, it's just not worth the hassle of talking to customer service, disputing the charges, and wait for my new card to come to the hotel. When I could have just pressed the button to change my card numbers, and open a dispute in the background without wasting time on my trip. And besides, the Apple card is a MasterCard. So some place I'm traveling to takes cards but is really picky about only accepting MasterCard, I'll have the option between using a MasterCard, Visa, and American Express. Can you tell I'm paranoid yet? And yeah, those are the cards I have in my passport wallet. Subscribe for more credit card and financial videos, and I'll see you later.